Yo, what is going on? I know this is not my normal place to make YouTube videos, but honestly, I just got, I was just in the gym. And the whole gym session, I was thinking and thinking and thinking about this video. It came to me like five minutes in, and then the last hour and a half was just what to say here because this is something that's massive. And it was a question that I was asked by one of my clients about two days ago. And I want to first warn you that this is not a, a beginner question. This is not a beginner answer. This is more of an advanced, detailed question. It's more niche, more specific. So if you are just beginner, I'm going to say this video probably won't resonate with you that much. But if you have the fundamentals down, you've been, you've been able to be more vulnerable. You've been more open. You've been more daring. You've been pushing yourself more. You've been leaning into your edges more. What comes later on? Not beginning. All right, this is where most people get it fucked up. Not a lot of people think beginning is acceptance, and there's a certain level of acceptance you need in the beginning, which is, this is where I am. I need to improve. I want to improve. I don't need to. I want to improve. Let's do this. Not acceptance is not. I stutter. My life sucks. There's nothing I can do to change it. This is just the way it is. Fuck. Let's just cope with it. That's not acceptance, right? Real acceptance is to act as if you've chosen a habit. The real meaning of acceptance is to act as if you've chosen a habit. And I guarantee you, most people who stutter, if a magic genie came to them and they said, do you want to stutter? They would say, fuck no, take it away from me. Those, those people have not reached true acceptance. So the question I was asked from my client was, he was on week five of, of the program, of the one-on-one -on -one coaching. And usually, depending on, depending on the client's needs, usually week five is when we dive into acceptance. Learning how to accept your stutter. And why it's later on in the program, not week one, Acceptance comes from accepting all the negative things that come with it. You already by default accept the positive things in your in your life. You already accept that. You will, you do not resist that. You only resist things you don't want to accept. And you resist things when they come with negative things. They come with negative traits, they come with negative characteristics. So how do you accept your stutter? You have to accept the anxiety. You have to accept the embarrassment. You have to accept the shame. You have to accept the frustration. And how do you accept it? Is you let it go. That's the process of accepting. And I like this video can be an hour long. How, how do you let go of emotions? You have to say you had a conversation and you stuttered badly in this conversation. You felt soup. Say it was at work at the lunch table, and all your coworkers looked at you. And in that moment, you felt shame. You felt embarrassment. You felt like you wanted that just fucking ground to swallow you up. How do you accept that moment? It's not just by saying mm, that happened. Mm, okay, cool. I accept it. No, that's fucking bullshit. <laughs> that's not acceptance. Real acceptance. Is by, lab is by labeling where you feel the tension inside of you, not judging it as good or bad, viewing it as just energy, learning to locate the energy, learning to process that, and like I can legitimately go through the process, all right, but it'd take forever. It's by, so the broad spectrum is remember the emotion, remember the situation that hurts you. Bring back the situation that hurt you so then later in the day you can sit there and let it go. Because if you don't let it go, if you just have that situation and it hurts you and you carry on throughout your day and you don't take time to let it go, it stores inside of you. It stores inside of you as tension. 
and the more tension you have, the more you will stutter. And that's how one stutter can perpetuate to more and more stuttering because when you stutter, it arises negative emotion. You don't want to feel negative emotion. You resist it. It stores inside of you. Whatever you resist persists. Tension, all right? So what my client asked me was I told him the process, the exact process to let go of emotions. His question was then, Chase, what if there's two different op there's two different routes I can go down? The first one is saying it happened, block it out, go throughout my day. The second one is what you said, I have to, I have to remember it, bring it back into my life and feel those emotions again. Isn't that kind of attaching that to my brain? Isn't that gonna get me kind of stuck in those emotions? Isn't that gonna make me feel more anxious? Isn't that gonna make me stutter more if I'm remembering if I'm remembering my stuttering moments? Do I actually have to bring it back up? And that's a great fucking question. It's a great fucking question. Shouldn't you just say, yeah, it happened and keep fucking going? Why do I have to bring it back up? And this is what I'm gonna answer here six minutes and 30 seconds into this video is that everything with your stutter, and it's a specific answer, but it's also broad. Everything with your stutter, if you're ever questioning what action you should take, should I do this or should I do that? Locate where the fear is. Locate which action you are not taking because of fear. In my client's case, he didn't want to bring up those emotions again because he feared it would cause him more stuttering. He feared it would actually ingrain these more these emotions more inside of him, inside of his brain. And if he just blocked it out, he wouldn't have to face it again. That is the fear. And it might it may sound contra contradictory, but any time you give into any type of fear with your stutter it grows in power anytime so if you have the conscious thought to block it out because you don't want to face it you're acting in fear and even though you're not bringing these emotions back in where do they go they legitimately store inside of you but if you're able to say I know there's fear connected to this. I know there's fear to bring these emotions back up because X, Y, and Z. But I'm going to fucking face them. The more you're able to prove to your brain that you do not give into the fear of stuttering, of anything that comes with stuttering, that you can look at your stutter straight in the fucking face and not repress you can feel these emotions again that you felt when you stuttered and not want to hide or you, you might want to hide but you don't you continue feeling them and continue feeling them continue feeling them that is how you gain control that is how you gain power you lose power your your stutter gains power anytime you act in fear but you, your character, your authenticity gains power, gains momentum anytime you can look at your stutter in the face and say, all right, so you make me feel this way. All right, I'm gonna, ob I'm gonna, ob I'm gonna observe you. And the more you can get in the habit of that, the better. And now that he's able to actually process these emotions, even if he feels fear, he's doing it anyway that is going to enable him to gain more power gain more self-trust within himself that he has the power to do whatever the fuck he wants and that will allow him to overcome his stutter so it's a pretty specific answer but it's also broad to do not give in to any type of fear it will only hurt you and this is just something very small in like it's something very big, of course. Acceptance is very big, but it's only one of the pieces in overcoming your stutter.
And if you're serious about overcoming your stutter, like my client that just asked me this question is, who is actually now overcoming his stutter step by step by step by step, the same way I did, the same way all my other clients are doing. If you're interested in hearing more about how to overcome your stutter and what it would look like doing it the authentic way, without speech techniques, but the authentic way through character development, then click the closest link down below in the description book a free one-on-one -on -one consultation call with just me it's just me for now maybe if you watch this six months from now or three months from now I'll, I'll have someone taking these calls but for me right now it's with me one-on-one -on -one with me if you want to talk to me one-on-one -on -one about your situation see if and how I can help you click the closest link down below in the description book your free one-on-one -on -one consultation call with me and we'll see you if we can make this work all right I love you I hope that helped wherever you are in your journey. And uh, yeah, peace out.